Let's take a look at finding the equation of a line. First, the question is, what do you need? And so in standard form, we have AX plus BY equals C and slope intercept Y equals MX plus B. This is my favorite one for finding information. And what we need is slope and then we need a point so that we can find B, which is the y-intercept. Now what if you're just given a point? So the question should be, could be find a line that's perpendicular to y equals 3x minus 1 at x equals 1. Well what's that saying is that here at 1 it's perpendicular to this guy, which means it touches here. So when x is 1, we can find the y value by substituting in. So let's do that. y equals 3 times 1 minus 1, 3 minus 1, which is 2. So that gives us 1 comma 2. And now what we need to do is take a look at slope. So if they don't give you slope, they could give you a hint of slope. And there's a number of ways they can do that. So a hint of slope. first way, they could give you two points. If they give you two points, you're going to use the slope formula. Y equals the, sorry, slope equals the difference in Y's over the difference in X's, where the points are X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and then you use your slope formula to find those. The other way, they could tell you that it's perpendicular and if that's the case, you want the slope to be the opposite reciprocal of the slope of that perpendicular line. And then lastly, they could tell you that they're parallel to something. That means find the slope of the original line and then just use that same slope to find yours. Let's do an example of those last two. So how do we do this? you have a point and you have the slope. So you're going to use this equation. You're going to have m equals some number and you're going to have a point x, y and you're going to substitute those values in here and then you're going to find the b. Once you have that, you have your equation. So here's an example. Let's find the equation that has slope of 4 and contains a particular point. So m equals 4, and we're going to use negative 1, 2. That's the point. So we take y equals mx plus b and substitute all the information we have. This is x and y. So y is 2, slope is 4, x is negative 1, and that's what we're trying to find, the b. So let's add 4 to both sides because that's negative 4. You get b is 6. So we can then set up the equation... We know the slope is 4, so we go ahead and substitute that in here, and then we just found the b to be 6. So you just put them right back into that uh, formula, y equals mx plus b. Sometimes they give us a slope of 0, and we know slope of 0, those lines are horizontal, and lines that are horizontal look like this, y equals some number. Well, if this point is on that line, its y value has to be the same as every other y value, so that means that y equals negative 4, and, and that's our equation. Let's go ahead and do what we did before and show that it works the same either way. If we use m equals 0 and the point 2, negative 4, and substitute them in here, y is negative 4, slope is 0, x is 2, this term goes to 0, so b is negative 4. So then y equals 0 slope times x minus 4, but that term is 0, so you get y equals negative 4, and that's the exact same. And so you can either think ahead and know that when it says slope of 0, it's horizontal, it's just y equals whatever number is here in this value, or you can go ahead through the steps here and find it the exact same way. 
Now, if the hint is that it's perpendicular to this line, or some line, you get y equals 2x minus 1, that's your hint of slope. On this guy, the slope is 2. But we want the slope to be perpendicular, so we want the negative reciprocal, so change the sign and flip it to get then negative 1 half. So we're going to use negative 1 half and 0, 1 is our point, and then go find that b. To do that, y is 1, slope is negative 1 half, x is 0, and you get 1 equals, sorry, I put an x in there, <coughs> x is 0, I said x is 0 and didn't write 0, x is 0, so b is 1, so you get y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. Now, I'd like to make the argument that you can know right away what the b is once you figure out this slope because this guy is a y-intercept. The b is really just the y-intercept. And so once you find the slope, if you're looking at something perpendicular to another line, you just find that slope, throw them in here, and then go grab that y-intercept from up here so that you can put them in. Oh. This shows you that it works using the equation solving, but you can also do it intuitively as well. So that's it. Hope you're having a great day.